Hello, church family. This is Joshua here. I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well. I would like to thank God for this great opportunity to just share through the 2022 Lent devotional with you all. I want to thank you for taking just a few minutes to just listen and better yourself and meditate with me on today's message. The theme for today's message devotional is reconciliation and the passage that we will be meditating on is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from 4 to 10. And I'll be reading out of the New Living Translation. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice but rejoices whenever the truth runs out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Prophecy and speaking in unknown languages and special knowledge will become useless, but love will last forever. Now our knowledge is partial and incomplete, and even the gift of prophecy reveals only part of the whole picture. But when the time of perfection comes, these partial things will become useless. This passage goes into detail about how God appointed Paul to speak over the town of Corinth. Now the people in Corinth were going through a lot of issues, such as they were trying to determine what was the best gift to receive? Was it the gift of giving? Was it the gift of uh, prophecy? Was it the gift of healings? You know, once Paul heard that this was happening in the town of Corinth, he wanted to make it clear that without love, every other gift that God gives to us does not matter. Love has to be the central motivation behind every gift that is given. It also says in the passage, that shouts to all followers of Jesus that no matter what stage of life you are in, oftentimes our focus can be on the beautiful aspects of love. For instance, in verse, verse four, it says that love is patient and kind. Love never gives up, never loses faith. This means that our good works and our good intentions bring value. However, Paul says that the definition of love always falls short. We must always be obedient to love one another when things are going well. But at the same time, we must be ready to walk through times of darkness and sometimes in messy circumstances with one another when things are not going in our favor. And then we go into verse seven. It talks about how love is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. This is the love the way that Jesus defines it. He says that this love should transform us and we should be persistent in that presence through love. Love always triumphs in the end. And even in our pain, those who follow Jesus can have eternal peace and victory of experiencing the salvation of Jesus Christ. It's not a coincidence that all of these types of descriptions of love describe Jesus. Jesus is love. Love is so important for us to understand as believers because love is the core of what God operates and how he instructs us to do through our spiritual walk. I hope this message has been a blessing for you May you continue to strive to learn through your daily walk with Jesus Christ, with love and compassion for one another throughout this Lent season. May God bless you.